Some time back, I built this tavern for my D&D miniatures, but one tavern does not make a town. So I sat down to build a few more quick buildings out of foam core to fill out a town square or a street. These buildings won't have interiors, but I still want to make them standard size so that they fit with all my floor tiles. Just in case my players decide to get into a fight inside one, I can set out a floor using my modular tiles. I use straight pins to hold the walls in place while the PVA glue is set. And after gluing the walls together and making sure they fit a standard floor size, I started cutting detail pieces out of insulation foam, starting with stones for the foundation. Now these are half an inch by half an inch and half an inch by one inch, just like my stone blocks, but cut very thin so I can just glue them onto the building like a facade. I textured them the same way as the stone blocks with a ball of aluminum foil rolled all over them. And then I test fit them onto the building. I then started gluing the wood planks and stones onto the building walls. I decided to add foam door frames on the front and back instead of just painting them on for some added detail. Same with the window frames. Details are what really make a terrain piece stand out, so I decided to make all of the wood for the Tudor style planks out of foam as well instead of just painting them on or using cardstock. It takes a little more time, but it looks much better than the cardstock or paint like I did on the tavern. Next up was the roof. So for this project, I wanted to save time and effort on the roof since I was building a few of them. So instead of making hundreds of shingles and gluing them on individually, I decided to try just using large rectangles of foam for each side of the roof. And for the detail, I added a wood plank texture to the foam with a pencil. I first roughed in some lines for the planks, then I used the whole head of the pencil to carve into the foam a slanted groove for each plank. and it turned out pretty good. The pencil even gave the planks some decent texture, not a wood grain, but something a little different. I 
I then glued the roof in place. Not the best looking roof, but quick and easy and a lot less work than hundreds of shingles. On one of the smaller buildings, I decided to try making a thatched roof by hot gluing some faux fur on cardstock on top. I even combed it out. I also made a small lean-to tent with a few dowels cut from skewers on a piece of foam core and a piece of construction paper I soaked in watered down PVA glue mixed with some brown paint. I soaked the paper in the watered down glue then pinned it in place on the base and dowels to look like an animal hide. I also made this small chimney to add to the buildings to make them into a house instead of just like a store. And I cut the firebox out and made a hearth for it so it could also be a blacksmith forge or an outdoor oven. For painting, I started with the usual Mod Podge and black paint to seal everything in. Then various coats of off-white, brown, and gray on the walls, wood, and stones. For the thatched roof, I used a pretty bright yellow and ochre mix which I then toned down with gray to use as stucco on the other small building. Then everything got a generous black wash to dirty it all down. That was followed by a dry brushing to bring back all the highlights. And then I was done. I had several buildings to line a street with shops or homes or to fill in a town square. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And thanks for watching.